here with Chris Limo, who is here for day three of the Almighty Stack event. Chris Limo won this event last year. He's coming back today with 10 million chips and wasn't even supposed to play this event, but here he is. Chris, can you give us the background behind that? Um, it's the busy time of the year for me. I've been doing the limos for over 14 years, and I just signed a big contract you know, with a hotel, and I dedicated myself to be there. But, you know, it was like 4 o'clock in the afternoon. I was like, you know what, I'm just going to hop in the car and, you know, just take a ride out there and see what, you know, how it works out. And uh, I'm glad I did, you know. It's fun. You know, I do this for fun. You know, I don't do it for a living. You know, I've been playing poker for over 10 years. You know, I work hard. You know, I play with my own hard earned money. You know, I don't get backed. You know, a lot of, a lot of these kids get backed. You know, they come in, they play, they lose, whatever. You know, they come back the next day and play me. I get a limited amount of tournaments a year, you know. I can't always take off, you know, I got three kids, I got a wife, you know, so I enjoy it. I enjoy what I do and, you know, I'm glad to be here again, you know. Yeah, you've certainly made the most of your time here. You didn't play event one, then you obviously hopped in in the last starting flight for the day one here. For this Almighty Stack event, as we mentioned, you won it last year. You seem to do pretty well in it. How do you do it? I'm a very aggressive player and uh, people that know me, they just think, you know what, this is the donkey Chris, you know, which... I don't mind. I don't care what people think of how I play. You know, I like deep stacks because I'm very aggressive in the first four, five, six levels. I come in with a raise. You know, if somebody raises me, I'll three bet them. You know, I'll put a lot of pressure, try to build a quick stack. And um, when the blinds start going up, people still have that perspective of me. You know, they still think I'm that aggressive, you know, super aggressive, you know, that makes moves. But they don't realize that, you know, my game changes completely later on you know, when the levels go up. You know, I'll still be aggressive, but I'll pick my spots. You know, I'll flat with a lot more big hands and try to trap. You know, it's been working out, you know. Um, in the last 12 months, you know, I final tabled the 2 million last year. I won this. Uh, I came in 12th in the 6 max. You know, and then I came back in November, October. Uh, the first event, the million, I final tabled that, came in 6th. You know, and then went to Foxwoods. You know, the main event, took a bad beat, came in 15. You know, I had a real bad Vegas trip, you know, for a month and a half. But it looks like I do good here, you know. Hopefully it'll be my fifth final table in the last 12 months, you know, and hopefully this will be the, not the almighty, you know, million, it'll be the, you know, the almighty limo, you know. Yeah, they might have to not only rename the event, but probably redesign the trophy as well. Now, there's a lot of good players coming back for this day three session. Are there any in particular at your table that you're going to be trying to stay away from or play a certain way against? I looked at my table draw. I actually like my table. I had a real bad table draw yesterday. Um, I don't have Brian Hastings. I never played with him. You know, I know he's a very good player. He's in seat one. I'm in seat three. I have position on him. You know, I'm not one of these players where, you know, I go in with a game plan. You know, that's why a lot of people think they know my game, but they don't because I don't even know what I'm, what I'm going to do. You know, I see my cards. I might have aces or kings, you know, and I don't know what I'm going to do. I just go with my flow, you know. Yesterday we had, what, an hour to go during the day. You know, under the gun, this tight player raises. You know, I'm on the bun. I have kings. I just flat. I said to myself, you know what, let me play a small pot, you know see how it goes because I had a bad feeling about the hand and you know the flop came queen jack deuce with two diamonds you know and uh, he leads out I flat turn was a break he leads out I flat river is an ace he checks I check behind he has ace king of diamonds so if I decided to go crazy pre-flop I'm done you know I wouldn't be standing here today you know so I've been picking my spots you know but overall I'm you know I'm, I'm playing well you know running well also so you know can't complain you know so Obviously, there's still a long way to go before you're standing there in the winner's circle again. But if you're able to, by the end of today, what would that mean to you to go back to back in this particular event? Awesome. You know, a great feeling. You know, my goal right now is just to grind it to the final table. Once I get there, you know, I know a lot of people are, not, are going to be inexperienced on that final table. We're going to have probably three, four guys that have been there. It's always like that. You know, and they're going to get nervous in the first hour or two, you know, and that's what I'm going to take advantage. I'm going to. You know, I'm telling them how I'm playing. Hopefully, they're not going to be watching me. <laughs> but, you know, I, I, once I get to the final table, I think I'll be all right. You know? Well, we'll let you go unbag your chips and get ready for the day. Thank you so much for your time today, Chris, and good luck. Thank you. I just want to give out a shout out to my wife. She's my rock. She's supporting me. You know, I'm always working or playing poker or doing whatever. You know, I have three beautiful daughters, you know, Nicole, Christina, Victoria. So I love you guys, and I'll see you home with the trophy today.